Welcome everyone to an elven showdown between Zypher and the Azrai, going up against Showtime and the Asaur. So for the High Elves, a pretty cheap front line here, 5 units of the Anti-Large Spearmen dotted along the front line, supported by 2 units of the Fast Illyrian Reavers. In the middle here for the punch, we are going to have the Triple Line Chariots of Chase, supported here alongside the Frostheart Phoenix. A really nice model here in the sky, coming with the Blizzard Aura and all those debuffs, alongside Attune to Magic and Terra, making it pretty strong here at removing all cheap chaff. So the Noble as the supporting hero here with the Sacred Incense, coming with the added Missile Resistance, and for the Lord Choice, of course, Alariel the Radiant. One of the best healer supporters in the game, with the Star of Avalon, Arcane Conduit, Tempest, Shield of Thorns, Earthblood, the Shieldstone of Isha, as well as the Boon of Isha, the Shield of Safri, and Life Bloom. So quite a nice build here coming in from the Asaur. But for the Azrai, two units of the very strong Great Stagnus here, brilliant AP and charge bonuses, supported by the Triple Way Watchers. So definitely elite here for the Azrai, which are going to be alongside the Triple Eternal Guards and double of the Dryads. Two units of the Waste Talkers here on the left, both coming in with Arrows of Kurnos, so going to be some very nice deletion there as well, with the Lord Choice, which is going to be the Spellweaver High. Here on an Eagle, we are going to have the Arcane Conduit, Tempest, Soul Quench, and Apotheosis. So good stuff coming from both sides, looks like we're going to have 190 range for the Waywatchers here, and they're going to have Stalk as well, Fire whilst moving, which can make them pretty strong here, we can see, oh yes, Arrows of Kurnos coming downtown, pretty good damage here on one line chart, the other one here, pretty good damage as well, so we are going to get a Tempest in the sky, maybe a Volley here coming out, yes it is going to be shots, Waywatchers coming downtown, and let's have a look, ooh, lots of damage there up against the Frot Half Spin, it's very nice, negative 60 speed there, going to allow some big hits coming out of the Waywatchers, they have some very incredible accuracy indeed. And we can see the Waste Orcas, they're going to be shooting in the front, kind of trying to see if they can dome up against the Noble. He's going to have 3,000 or 3 HP, and he could be healed quite a bit. Of course, a lot more there coming on his chariot, but on his horse, he can still do pretty nicely as well. So arrow shots coming at the front, we're going to be hitting up against the Lion Chariots. Now, of course, they do have 30% base missile resistance, but another 10% here went alongside the Noble. If they're here with the Lariel as well, they get an extra 10% physical resistance, which will make 50% missile resistance in total. So cutting in the front here, the Waste Talker is going to get a little bit of pressure on the... Ooh, lovely damage up against the Noble. So we are going to get an Earthblood here in the middle. Of course, Hidden Caps might play a bit of a stage here in the end game. And we can see in the sky, Spellweaver maybe get a nice Soul Quench here down against the Spearman. But in the back here, we can see the Waste Talker is kind of getting pressured here a little bit. Dryad's moving in, trying to make a little bit of a blockade so we can pull out the heroes and get some nice shots. They do have a lot of ammunition left. 23 left here for one. The other can have quite a bit as well. In the middle here, there's the Frostheart Phoenix coming in, doing a lot of debuffs here. Would mind seeing some cycle charging for the Great Stag Knights. Over here on the left, we can see Spearman still trying to see if they can get us around, and it looks like here we have the Illyrian Reavers coming around the backside. And immediately straight out of the gate, we are going to get one of the Star of Avalons in the middle, healing up here up against all of these single entities and these chariots, doing some very good stuff indeed. The spell with a high is going to be close. Wouldn't mind seeing get a bit of cycle charging here, maybe even on the Frostheart Phoenix. We can see it's pretty low here in the middle. We're going to be down to 1,700, so we do get a Soul Quench. And looks like it's going after Alaria the Radiant. She's also getting low here at 2,300. But she's going to get a bit of healing here from the start of Avalon. Over on the side, we can see the Eternal Guards. They're going to be, sorry, the Eternal Guards. We are going to get the Weight Watcher shut down here by the Illyrian Reavers. Nice stuff. Apotheosis has been activated. Another charge coming in from the Illyrian Reavers. And then a counter charge here from the Great Stag Knights. Now, they should be able to butcher up against the Illyrian Reavers. Moving in another Spearman. There's not really too much to counter this here. We could really do with some Dryads or some Eternal Guard support. But in the back here, they are going to be a little bit free. You can see Healing Cat coming out for the Frost Heart Phoenix. The Double Line Chariots moving in, trying to see if they can do some work up against the Great Stag Knights. They have some brilliant AP values, and the debuffs coming for the Frost Heart can really nerf up against the Great Stag Knights. In the middle here, it looks like we are going to be losing some of the Eternal Guards and Dryads, and we've actually lost one of the Waste Orcas. And yeah, it looks like they're going to be under half health here for the Eternal Guards. Poking here up against the Lariel the Radiant. She's going to be kind of stuck here in the middle. Her mass is not going to be huge enough to kind of push through these Eternal Guard. So we're sending need some Spearmen and maybe some Cavalry support. In the middle here, getting pretty broken is going to be the Lion Chariots. They're going to be coming down here to 1,385 health. So not too much there, but they do manage to find a beautiful target here in the back on top of the Waywatchers. They'll delete those in a matter of seconds. Lovely stuff there, and they're going to get terrified. I believe, yeah, the Frostheart Phoenix is going to be in close enough range here to get the Terror. In the middle, looks like Apotheosis on top of the Great Stag Knights. Charging here up against the Frostheart. Super weak, going to be down to 1,600 health. Coming in for the bridge charge as well as the Spellweaver of High. Could be doing some, it looks like a little bit of damage, but the debuff is going to be enough here that you don't get too many attacks off. 
over here on the outside. We can actually see the Waste Orcas. They're going to be shooting here and a little bit of a sandwich here up against the Lion Chariots. They are going to cycle through though and come for a bit, little bit of a deletion, but they do get the push over there on the Waste Orca. A little bit unfortunate there for the Chariots, of course, as they do push over, there's going to be no damage here once it's on the floor. So AP Missiles coming through, really need to shoot here up against the Lion Chariots, but Shield of Thorns has been activated. 20% physical resistance, giving more resistance there to incoming missiles as well. In the middle, we can see a Lariel down to 1,089 health. Not doing super strong here, but we do see in the back there some Wave Watchers firing in. In the middle, we're going to get on top of these drives. If we remove the infantry here coming in from the Azrai, it's going to be really good for the Assault to kind of just get around the battlefield here with his Chariots and then start deleting all of this beautiful, beautiful range. In the back here, we do actually manage to break up against the Lion Chariots. Could we move off here? Yeah, the Great Snake Knights are now going to be activated and moving here towards them. So nice push off there. In the middle, Arrow's getting shot here into the back of the Lion Chariots as they do break the Way Stalker. Tony Garn should return there. It looks like it's going to be the second and final of the Star of Avalons here. But we can see Alariel the Radiant here at her healing cap. So she's going to be at one, 955 health, getting shot here by the Way Watchers. And they have... They're just snipers here on the battlefield. They're so goddamn good. Now also going to be shooting into the sky here up against the Frostheart. That's also fighting here with the Spellweaver High. Just moving around, maybe trying to see if we can pin it in and then shoot it. But of course we do have some pressure here for the Lion Chariots. So we are going to be shooting into the sky. Wow, 1,600 health. It's not huge. Maybe we could fight here. But so we are going to dive down. We do get a charge here on Alaria. Oh, she's super weak. Alaria is going to be down very close. As she does break. Negative 12, negative 27. Leadership 230 health. Do we have anything to finish her off, though, is the question. It looks like here we are going to be trying to shoot with the Way Stalker. He might be in range here. It looks like he's just going to be out of range. But here we do have the Way Watchers. Are we going to get a volley off before we break? Oh, it doesn't look like we're going to get a volley off, but it looks like Alariel will more than likely not be coming back. Here we do. We do have the chase from the Spellweaver High. Nice. So that's going to be going over and finishing off Alariel. Great wind there coming out of the Wood Elves. So for the High Elves, Frostheart Phoenix coming over. Maybe a bit of pressure here on the Way Stalker. That wouldn't be bad at all. But in the back here, we are going to be having the Double Arrows and also here the Double Great Stag Knights fighting up against and actually shattering the Chariots. That is such, such good luck there in the back. In the middle, we are going to see the Spearman pushing over to try and see if we can fight up against the Waystalker. Frostheart Phoenix is in as well, and that healing cap is going to be the Noble. Looking like maybe about 100 worth of healing left. He's going to be pushing over for a bit of a snipe here on the Waystalker. He's going to be pretty much out of ammunition. Four left, he's going to kite a little bit, trying to see if we get as much damage on the Noble as possible. But fire going in, it has some pretty good work here coming out of the Azrai. Arrows left online. Wait, we're just shooting into the middle. Really need to delete this Frost Heart Phoenix if we can. It's going to be super difficult at 1,200 health and still one very healthy chariot left. Over here in the back, what we can see, Alario getting chased off here. We do have some pressure in from the Spell Weaver down to 101. Oh, we're going to be able to kill her, though, is the question. If we can kill her, that is really, really good, but I don't know if we're going to be able to here. It looks like the Eagle is not actually able to attack. It's actually just going to be shoving her off the edge of the battlefield. That's not very good. If we can kill her, that's really important. If we can kill it, that's negative 16 there for a good duration of time. If I start moving over here towards the Waystalker, Waystalker can certainly fight in combat. He is no joke, uh, but he's going to get rear charged here. I think turning and fighting would have been better. Getting hit from behind on a rear charge, certainly not optimal. In the middle, we are going to be breaking Spearman. Seven models left, and it looks like here, Great Stag Knights are broken as well. We could do with an Apotheosis here. 17 models, 2.1k, certainly some healing there to be had. Let's have a look though. Line chariots as well as three units of spearmen moving in. We do have double dryads here and infantry way watchers now. They have no range left. So they're going to be fighting in hand-to-hand -hand combat. And we're now down to 38 melee defense here as we have lost the prowess coming in from the spearmen. Now they do get the beautiful ability here, which is going to be martial prowess, giving 12 melee defense and two melee attack here as long as they're above 50% health. Looks like here we are going to be losing it from the spearmen very soon. They're still going to be having 50 melee defense, which is just huge at this moment. And that's what they are going to be holding. That's definitely below 50% HP. So it's like there, they're going to be... Uh, there we go. We do lose him. Is it 50% HP or is it 50% leadership? Yeah, base, base health. Okay. So Arcane Phoenix coming in with a terror route here. He's going to terror out two Way Watchers. And it doesn't... Yeah, Dryads actually do have immune to psychology. So they are going to be able to hold on to that. Apotheosis here on the Great Stag Knights. Nice work. Could we kind of single out the Noble here? I really hope so. We can certainly charge in and do some great work here. He's certainly going to be isolated. Need to get the chariots close. Oh, Soul Quench down the line. Straight going here on the Frost Heart Phoenix. Lovely work there. 492 health. It is going to be wavering. Mana is going to be on the low side here, I'm sure. We do actually break there with the Frostheart Phoenix, and now we can move off here with the Spellweaver High. That's why kind of having your mages there on Eagle, especially as the main lord, is really, really important. Having that mobility is so huge. In the back here, the Great Stag Knights certainly need to come aid over here, but I don't know if there's too much that they can do. 
Uh, looks like the Eternal Guards. Yeah, I think that's the right play. Get them together and then try and see if we can fight here. We are going to be losing some Wave Watchers, of course. They do have okay melee stats. They're going to be 29 on 29, which is not terrible. Um, certainly seen uh, better there from infantry, but of course, as range, you know, going to be doing pretty well otherwise. In the back, 12 units of spearmen, negative 15 leadership. It's going to be what, negative 41 here for these spearmen. And yeah, I think it's going to be a bit of a chase off. So we get a bit of a scoot on here. We can see the chariot. It's going to be just kind of padding the stats here in the background, making sure that they do shatter here up against the Waywatchers. There we go. That's going to be a beautiful shatter there. And a bit of a pad stat as well from the Noble. Just kind of finishing off this Waywatcher is going to be some uh, gorgeous uh, value to be had. These boys are going to come together, but uh, with all of that kind of uh, uh, stand patting over there in the back, we are going to be uh, getting some apotheosis here up against the Great Stag Knights. I do wonder if that actually would have been more efficient on the spell with a height. Not too sure. Not too sure. But they are going to get together. And this is some really healthy line chariot to chase. And we have a healthy noble. This is going to be... Uh, it's going to be difficult. It's going to be difficult for sure. I don't know if these are ton of guards are going to hold. I, I would have thought probably not. But we've got to get a front on charge here with the Great Stag Knight. And then maybe a rear charge here up against the noble. Noble will absolutely bust the bread here of the spell with a height if given the opportunity. And here we go. So we are going to come together. Are we going to get the rear charge that we need here? There we go. So we are in. Great Stag Knights do get a beautiful charge here on the Spearman. And here we go. We do actually get a charge on here with the Spell Weaver. Noble's down to 1,200. Spell Weaver here is 270. Through the middle, we are going to see the Lion Chariots kind of just cycle charging through the Spearman infantry. But we've kind of caught out here with the Noble. Balance of Power is super even here in the battle. Spearman going up against the Great Stag Knights. It's not good for them. Now, they do have 60 armor, and I think it's something like 20% physical resistance, so they can do pretty well here. But you can see that the Spellweaver High is really struggling. I'd like to say get out and get back in again, because the Noble now, that charge bonus of 62 has gone here. She is going to be breaking, and we're going to be kind of low here on the Great Stag Knights. The Eternal Guards have broken. The other ones did shatter. But it's like here, if we do lose the Great Stag Knights, it could be game blouses. Spill with a high in the sky. She shatters, and it's like here, it's going to be army losses. GG's, and well played for Showtime. And... The Asrai. So, 2,650 there for the Spellweaver High, with 2,428 for the Waystalker. 1,250 there for the second one, with a really, really nice triple threat here coming in for Zypher. Brilliant performance from him, for sure. 225, 286 there for the Dryads, with 470, 470, 555 there for the Eternal Guards. 1,400, 1,500 for the Waywatchers, and 1,740. Yep, very good stuff indeed there from Zypher. Certainly getting some good scoot and shoot there on the Waywatchers. Yeah, very good footy speed on foot, but of course, yeah, really getting shut down by the Illyrian Reavers. Nice stuff. 1,500, 1,100 as well from the Great Stag Knights, with some really, really great damage there in the middle. This is a super close game between these two. Nice snipe on a L'Oreal, 140 there for her. We got uh, 1,858 for the Noble, so you get good healing there coming in from L'Oreal, keeping these nice tip-top shape, with eight, only 800 for the Frostheart Phoenix. A little bit surprised there, a little bit on the low side. So 560, 250 is 740, 500, and 714 there from the Spearman. 857, 865 from the Illyrian Reavers. Having 90 speed and just being able to maneuver around the battlefield at just such great speeds is so beneficial indeed. 1,200, 780, and 131 kills. 2,030 damage value there for the Lion Chariots of Chase. Yeah, very strong models indeed. This one certainly survived here towards the end. Really cycled charging through all that infantry and shutting down those single entity models. So what an awesome game here. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, please smash that like button. It would really help here on the channel. Drop a comment down below about what you thought here i'd love to know all your thoughts and opinions and if you are new do feel free to subscribe i've just reached over a thousand subscribers so thank you so much for all your amazing support it really does help here on the channel and of course the bigger we get the more things we can do so if you haven't already as well do check out that description you can find all my other social media platforms including twitch and most importantly that discord where you'll see all my single player and my multiplayer content here for total warhammer age of empires and any other games that i play here on either channel and you can also buy that replays for casting section where you can leave your replays just like this one so I can cast it in the future. So other than that, I've been your boy Logic. Take care of yourself during these times and I'll see you all very, very soon.